people think that acting is an easy chore. Why, I can do that, you know, like they have today. You know, tits and ass and the studdo who's always doing his trip, you know, shooting and killing and blowing things up. Nah, that's junk. It's terrible junk commercial shit is what it is. And it, everybody likes it because it's easy. Nobody has to think about anything. They just sit there and sensitize themselves or desensitize themselves to anything real. And they say, oh boy, wasn't he great? Boom, did you see that gun he had? They're made for 13, 14 year old boys. And they go see the movies seven or eight times because it's, and it teaches them something, I don't know what. But Sam's films were never like that. They were always looking for something, something special. He's a gentleman who's gone berserk. He knows how to survive under the worst kind of conditions. He's always amazed that he can survive because he lays it out on the line. He's, he has a death wish, so he just throws himself into it. It doesn't really uh, matter to him whether he survives or not. He has to deal with the German soldiers. He has to deal with the, uh, the German officers. He has to deal with the Russians. He has to deal with himself, his death wish, and his instinct to survive. So those are the four elements that uh, I have to deal with with him. He's a very complex, interesting guy. You created a character that was uh, interesting, uh, but devoutly uh, sacred to you and to him. I think that just because you and Colonel Brandt are more enlightened than most officers that I hate you any less. I hate all officers, all the Stransky's, all the Three Pigs, all the Iron Cross scavengers, and the whole German army. I think I can remember almost every moment that I was with Sam. He brought that out in you because it was, I don't know, somehow you, uh, you got to do work that you couldn't do with other people, with other directors, with other writers, with other films. He not only allowed you to experiment, he not only allowed you to take it out on, on the edge, but sometimes he would force you out. He may be a nasty bastard, but at least he's truthful about that. Everything is justified. You have to justify everything for Sam. You couldn't just go out there and, and play it. I mean, you had to give it. It had to come from someplace within you. And all of his actors brought that. When einer nicht funktioniert, das hat er sofort gemerkt, hat auch viele Leute rausgeschmissen und wurden dann ersetzt, kamen andere aus Los Angeles wieder dazu. Europäer wollte er, glaube ich, nicht so viel haben. Deutsche, glaube ich, schon gar nicht. Eher noch so Jugoslawen oder so. Aber vier Monate lang, jeden Tag gleich, jeden Tag dieselbe Intensität. Also, Wahnsinn. Und durch diese Spannung, die da eben am Set war, ist vielleicht sogar etwas dabei entstanden. Er hat ja sehr viel improvisiert. Er hat, zumindest also was mich angeht, ich hatte ja nicht eine geschriebene Seite von, von diesem Buch in der Hand sondern nur, was würdest du machen und wie würdest du jetzt reagieren und ist es für dich vorstellbar und ähm, ich mochte den Korban gerne, wir haben uns gut verstanden, äh, er hat auch tüchtig natürlich mitgetrunken, er hat es halt überlebt und äh, Peckinpah hat es nicht überlebt. Each film he made was a, a sacred enterprise. He devoted not only his time and attention, but his heart and his being to each of those films. Uh, some of them were worth it. Some of them weren't, but they were all interesting films. Fourteen of them I just was told that he made. Not nearly enough for a man of his talent and his, his desires. And I had a telegram from Orson Welles saying he thought that it was one of the finest war films ever made, which was a particular enormous um, Good kick in the ass for me.